Why do cops like nurses? Except this guy. This guy does not like nurses. Hey guys, what's going on? I hope everybody had a fantastic week last week. This is the longest I have ever gone without doing a video, and I do apologize to you guys. Um, I'm going to give you guys kind of the rundown of how my last week went, and uh, we'll get started with the video. So all last week, I was in Forsyth, Georgia for training in a class for sexual assault investigations, and this has become one of the required classes for being in CID. Uh, at least with my department. And it was a really good class. I mean, they basically spend the week telling you about all the shit that you've missed in all your previous sexual assault cases. What was really cool about this class is the instructor a few times a day would give us some sort of a story uh, from some sexual assault case that he worked. And then he would basically guide us through his investigation uh, and, and teach us basically how he solved the crime. But as time went on, I started noticing that there was a trend developing. Most of these stories consisted of swabbing a penis. I know, I know it's gross, but if you are going to a sexual assault investigations class, it is not for the squeamish. So every day it grew and grew until it finally became the joke of, hey, you wanna solve a crime, go swab a penis. Got a theft, swab a penis. Stolen vehicle, swab a penis. Bank fraud, swab a penis. I heard the word seminal fluid more times than I ever cared to in my life. So on Friday, I take my test, we get done with the class, and uh, I'm on my way home. Well, later on in the day, I was on call. So I'm home for about an hour. It was just long enough to like, get all my stuff back inside. I threw all my clothes in the washer. And what do I get? Ring, ring, ring. One of the lieutenants calls me and says, hey, we got this case going on, I need you to go. I can't talk about the case because it's still an open investigation, but um, anyway, I ended up winding things down at about one o'clock in the morning. I get home and man, I passed out. I was exhausted. So yesterday, as soon as I possibly could, packed more shit and I headed out of town to get away from work, to get away from my phone, to get away from everything. Had some family come in, so I decided to spend the day with them away from work. All right, so moving on. Why do cops impound cars? We usually impound cars if they contain some sort of evidence or if the driver has been arrested for DUI, no insurance, stuff like that. Why do police investigations take so long? Since I have been working in CID, I have realized the enormous and ridiculous amount of paperwork that detectives have to do on every single case. Even a very simple case that's very easily solved is still going to have between I would say probably 30 and 40 pages. And the reason why some of these investigations take so long is because some of the steps in the investigative process can't be achieved without time. It just takes time. If I'm filing something to get records from somebody or I'm trying to find a way to get surveillance footage, all of that stuff takes time. And other steps in the investigative process can't be achieved until those are done. There's a certain way we have to do things because of accuracy. It might be because of departmental policy. It just depends. Another factor might be how many investigators are working on the case. Usually you have your case manager, which is like the lead investigator. And then he might have a couple or a few investigators that are helping him. Um, but most of the support investigators are not going to be there the entire investigation. Usually it's just until you can get to a point where the main person can handle the rest from there. Because everybody has their own cases. You know what I mean? Like if everybody was assigned to every single case, uh, we, we would never get any work done. When we have something big, like a double homicide or something like that, basically everybody in the office is told, drop whatever you're doing for however long it takes. We have something bigger we have to work on. It's all about prioritizing and time management. That is the biggest thing I have learned from CID. Time management, prioritizing. If you're not organized and you don't spend your time well, you are going to fall behind on your cases. Before you know it, you're going to have 30 stacked on your desk, and uh, you're probably going to get kicked out of CID. Why do police hate internal affairs? Usually, it's only bad cops that hate internal affairs. Why do cops sit in parking lots? Some departments require cops to work on their reports inside their vehicle instead of going to a precinct and working on it. Uh, so they have to stay mobile out in the field. So instead of parking somewhere dangerous, a lot of cops like to park in a very well-lit parking lot uh, so they can see anybody approaching them from any angle. Me personally, if I'm going to be parked somewhere publicly visible, I'm going to have at least another officer uh, kind of park catty corner to me so that I can watch his back and he can watch mine. I'm never going to sit in a public place by myself. And to be completely honest with y'all, I mean, I'm, I'm sure this will probably piss some people off. When it came time at the end of the night for me to start working on my reports and start getting my paperwork done before the end of shift, um, I would actually find a very, very secluded, quiet, and dark place. But it had to meet certain requirements. 
Number one, there can't be multiple ways to access it. The more ways there are to access somewhere, the higher of a chance somebody can sneak up on you. I would rather go to a location where there's only one way in, one way out, and I can see the opening. Why do cops have red interior lights? That's actually a very good question. Uh, I, I was surprised when I typed that in and I saw that pop up. So the reason that cops have red interior lights inside their car is because your eyes don't have to adjust as much with red for whatever reason. I don't know the science behind it. But if I'm using a regular bright white light, and let's say I'm writing down some documentation or I'm issuing a citation, whatever. Uh, when I turn that off, it's going to take a little while for my eyes to readjust to the dark. The other reason for using red is because it's harder to spot from far away. So if you are parked in the middle of somewhere, uh, the chances of you being seen when you're using a dim red light are a lot lower than somebody using a bright white interior light. Why do cops act like jerks? I think cops get a reputation for being a jerk because they're firm. I mean, realistically, how do you expect a cop to act with you if you've done something wrong? Should he be a jackass? Absolutely not. But people these days, especially the oversensitive type, uh, they seem to classify being firm as being a jerk. Moving on to K, why do cops kill dogs? This has been an ongoing question many people have asked. There are so many variables to these situations with dogs, I can't give like one definitive answer for everything. Do you really expect me to stand there in your yard watching my leg get shredded to hamburger meat while I politely wait for you to come outside and get your dog? Not going to happen. Why do cops know Gatorade flavors? I don't understand how this is even a question. I don't know anything about Gatorade flavors and I know for a fact most of you are probably the same way. And when you guys get a Gatorade, do you ask for Arctic Frost or do you ask for the blue one? Why do cops keep their cars running? Most of the time whenever we are parked somewhere for extended periods of time, it's because we're either on a call or we're parked somewhere doing reports. And the reason behind that is because a lot of the electronics in our car um, shut down whenever we turn off the car and they're not supposed to. They're supposed to be on the whole time. And honestly, it really just depends on the department. You have some departments that have policies in place that make the officers turn off their car while others have policies in place saying you'll leave your car on at all times. Why do cops knock so hard? The reason cops knock so hard is because we're so used to responding to people's houses and we knock all the time and nobody ever hears us. So I think it's kind of natural for every cop to just bang on the door because we know we're gonna have to at some point anyway. Moving on to L, why do cops look at your tongue? I have honestly never heard of just looking at somebody's tongue. I have a feeling the person that asked this question was a female. Why do cops like nurses? Cops and nurses usually have a pretty good relationship because we see each other all the time. There are some departments that require their officers to transport their prisoners to the hospital first if they've been tased. But then again, some cops like to arrest nurses uh, illegally though. Well, that's it for today, guys. I appreciate you joining me again. I'm so sorry it took so long to get a video out. Uh, like I said, it's been a very busy week, but I'm back home now, back at it, back to work tomorrow. If you guys have any ideas for videos, leave them in the comments section below, and I will try to address them accordingly. Thank you so much for the support, and I will see you guys very, very soon. So here's a few clips from yesterday.